Hello and uh, welcome to another video and this time we're going to be looking at the brand new reference manual builder feature which has just been introduced for Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity and this will allow you to create uh, your own uh, reference manuals from whatever sources uh, that you have available. So uh, let's uh, go into our library, our new look buttons here uh, and then click on modules and we'll get the builder button here which we can click to open up a brand new uh, blank uh, reference manual. Nothing very much to see here, screen on the right, uh, panel on the left and the only button we have available is new chapter so we may as well go ahead and click that. And this opens up uh, a skeleton uh, index uh, for you. And you can see that uh, we can type in chapters, we can have subchapters, and we can have pages. And if we uh, keep clicking this, we can click another uh, chapter here, uh, another new subchapter or whatever, and we can keep on doing that. If we've got too much or we don't want them, uh, we can just uh, double click on these little icons to get rid of them. But let's start at the beginning. Uh, we've got a chapter. Now the first thing we would normally do would be to uh, put in the uh, title of the uh, uh, book that we are actually converting here. Uh, so let's pretend that we're creating the Dungeon Master's Guide. Uh, and then we click on the subchapter. Probably introduction would be uh, the first logical thing. And then when we click on new page, uh, we can see that uh, we now have some icons here on the right hand side. Um, and we'll give it a, a name first of all. This appears up in the top here along with the link which you can click on to open it up just like you would a normal reference manual page. Um, and we have a, should have a look at these icons now. So from left to right we've got a text block, uh, we've got a dual text block, uh, a header, um, an image block and we've got image uh, left text right and uh, image right text left either one um, so in order to get some text in here we need to click on one of these icons whichever one that you want to be working with and then we will get this uh, a ability to edit it. So we click on the header block first of all, which would be a logical place to start, and then we can uh, type in uh, whatever we want into here, uh, and that will be our title bar. Now the little icon on the left hand side here gives us a frame selection so we can add a frame to this title bar if we want. If we click on that we will open up the various options that we have. Uh, let's uh, select that one and it automatically then adds the frame to that uh, little piece of text that we have and makes our title uh, stand out a little more. Um, so next let's have a look at the uh, images and image block and uh, if we click on the uh, image icon we can see that we've got a little uh, space here from which we can drop uh, an image. Now in order to get an image in here the image must be in our uh, images uh, list down the right hand side here so if we have a look at our images list at the moment we can see that we don't have uh, any images uh, in the campaign so we need to get some images into the campaign before we can uh, add the link in here. Um, if we uh, go to our uh, assets now and uh, we open up our campaign bag we can see that we actually have some uh, assets in our images folder. Um, now just for reference purposes this is where we're looking here we're looking in the uh, Fantasy Grounds campaigns uh, and the campaign name that uh, you have and in the images folder inside that campaign and here we have the images that are sitting in there at the moment. Uh, so we need to get these into uh, this uh, images list and we can do that simply by clicking on one of these images, open up the preview and then we've got this button here, create image record. We click on that to create the image record. That means that the image is now in the images uh, folder here. We can see that it's in the images list and then we just drag the link from the image and drop it into our little uh, space here on our uh, page. The image automatically gets dropped and uh, sized uh, correctly. It uh, keeps the same uh, ratio etc. 
and it also adds in a, a caption here which is just uh, the name of the image now you don't need to keep that you can you can change that you can edit this to uh, whatever you want uh, let's say uh, call it introduction um, or you can uh, completely leave it blank you can uh, you can uh, completely uh, ignore that let's try and spell it something uh, correctly somewhat correctly um, and there we have our uh, image uh, is in there now, now this would be exactly the same if we had an image to the uh, left now, if we wanted to put this one in here for example we just uh, repeat the same uh, process is to create the image record and then just uh, drag the uh, link and, and pop it in there and uh, we are done uh, so let's have a look at the text block now um, now i would highly recommend that you don't paste text directly into a uh, fantasy grounds from a pdf or whatever i would uh, thoroughly recommend that you uh, use a notepad or something uh, similar uh, for this um, so uh, let's uh, get ourselves some uh, text here um, anything will do uh, let's just uh, get this and we'll paste our text into notepad um, now this is coming directly from the uh, PDF for the actually it's a player's manual rather than dungeon master's guide but it's the same principle and we can see that we've got lots of um, things here like line breaks and things that we don't want so what we're just going to do is to uh, select our paragraphs and uh, get rid of all the line breaks um, now you can do this within uh, notepad using Control j i'm using a macro actually but it's the same principle as just using uh, Control j and then we, we probably want to get rid of all this uh, it's sort of text it's all the spaces that are down this side here um, uh, and then we want to do a couple of very important things um, we want to get up our uh, find here uh, control f uh, we want to go to our replace tab and we want to look for a couple of things we want to look for a hyphen uh, and a space um, and if we click find next it'll just uh, walk us through all of the uh, sort of places where we can find a hyphen and a space and you can see here we've got uh, uh, the word has been split and this is just the way that the pdfs work is that they split text to try and keep them nice and sort of even uh, along the uh, the columns so we don't want that uh, so we're going to make sure that we have got nothing to replace it with that it's zero uh, and then we're just going to click on replace it'll pop to the next one we'll replace that and we'll replace that and we'll replace that and it now tells us that we're done um, the reason i say hyphen space is because it'll pick up a lot of different things and i would also you don't recommend i don't recommend that you do replace all because sometimes you'll find the situation where there is a hyphen uh, and a space and you require the hyphen but not the space so if you replace the uh, hyphen space with nothing then you'll end up with uh, words being uh, pushed together which shouldn't be pushed together so i would go through them and replace them one at a time now the other thing i would definitely recommend as you do is you look for double spaces so we're going to go into find what uh, two spaces and we're going to replace with what uh, one space and then we're just going to replace all this time uh, and you can see here that even just in that little bit of text there was 38 uh, double spaces uh, i wouldn't finish there though so i would click it again and here we found another one and just click it for a third time just to make sure until it says zero occurrences so we've now replaced all the uh, double spaces with a single space I wouldn't recommend that you try and find all these single spaces in fantasy grounds because it will take you forever to do uh, now that we've cleaned up the text we can copy it and just uh, paste it into our text box and there it is is good to go um, all you would need to do then would be to mark up this text with any bold or um, a hyphenated text i mean for example i know that this word here should be uh, bolded so i'm just going to select it and uh, Control b to uh, put the bold on 
and you would do this with uh, any other pieces of text if uh, you know if the, if this here was um, in italics then you would just uh, go through it and sort all the formatted text in whatever way you want uh, you can also add a frame to here in the same way as we did for the uh, title um, if we click on frame select and then we can just select one of the frames and uh, it'll automatically put the frame uh, on there for you I wouldn't go overboard with frames it, it can look ugly um, it, it can also detract from the actual story probably about 95 or more percent of your uh, story entries or your your manual entries will just be plain text you don't need frames on every page um, it, it is nice to highlight things like sidebars or important pieces of text but you don't you don't need uh, frames uh, everywhere um, we can have a little look now at uh, the uh, dual text block and this basically just gives us two columns of text uh, we've got text in the, the clipboard so we'll just uh, batter the same pieces of text in um, and again you've got the uh, option here of uh, adding frames so you can have uh, a different color on either side if you want to uh, and again as I say don't go too overboard with this because it, you can end up uh, making it look kind of uh, ugly but uh, the option is there if you wanted to uh, and again this is ideal for things like sidebars where you would have the text either on the left or the right uh, which was surrounded by a frame but in the uh, the other one uh, the frame would, or the text would just be uh, plain um, now if you wanted to see how things were looking uh, then you can just lock up the page um, and it'll get rid of all the little uh, extraneous things and so on and you can see how your page is, is looking uh, when it's actually going to be read, read by the, the user. Um, we can also, um, let's suppose we come down here and we decide that oh, we've missed a header. Uh, we can add the header here and if you notice there's these little two move up and move down icons so if we click move up we can move this header up to here and uh, well we should have had a header in there uh, that's not the word I was meaning to type um, and we can uh, move the header up and uh, it's still in the wrong place we can uh, move it again and uh, there it is and oh it's not the right place we can move it back down so you can move any of these frames uh, up or down using the little uh, up and down uh, icons and you'll see that we've got the little up and down icons here as well on the uh, left hand side if we add in another uh, couple of pages uh, you can see that uh, we can uh, move these pages around uh, should you desire uh, if uh, you, page two should come before page one for example then you can you can do so and you can do the same with uh, chapters uh, or new chapter uh, sub chapters and chapters as well you can uh, move them around uh, till you've uh, got to the right thing so once you've typed something and it's not necessarily uh, fixed in place uh, you can uh, decide that uh, if that page is there or uh, should be in a different place then on you go um, and you can of course uh, also have a, a frame on this side uh, and this one if we uh, paste in some text in there we can have a frame down the right here and we can have a, a picture uh, on the left and of course uh, we didn't look at the other one uh, but this is uh, no that's not it uh, oh and you can delete things as well of course yes a page here so if we want to get this one in uh, create our image record drop that in there and then we can have some text in, in this side uh, so text left or right images left or right you can have uh, half uh, full page images half page images uh, etc um, once you're happy of course uh, we can uh, export the module uh, we can lock all this up uh, we can just come down and type in uh, export uh, into our forward slash export into chat we get the usual module export window uh, and if we scroll down here we can see that we now can 
uh, export our uh, reference manual to uh, uh, a module in the same way as we can export uh, everything uh, else. Um, so I think that's probably just about it. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions or if uh, you think that you want to see uh, more of this. Um, uh, sort of making reference manuals or any other bits and pieces that you think might be uh, useful. Uh, but thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.